Greetings people of YouTube, Ducking Creepers here, and today I'm back for another mod showcase, this time with some of my own content, believe it or not. You know, I've been slaving away for, like, a couple of weeks now, among other projects, this has been a major one, but to create this mod called the More Materials, because I'm unhappy with the building material selection offered by mods. Now, this is a Minecraft 1.7.2 Forge mod that adds crap tons of new building materials to your game. To be precise, we have five stones, nine woods, um, five sands, four gravels, six dirts, and six marbles. Marbles is just the name I gave to things like quartz that have smooth and pillars and chiseled, for lack of any better name. But anyway, yeah. I'm making this showcase thing to show you at least one way of crafting every material that the mod adds, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be curious, and nothing explains how to craft like the maker is showing you in a video tutorial. Now, there are more ways to craft than this, but if I showed you every single crafting recipe, this wall would go out into space forever. So, yeah, more materials. You can be the bestest builder ever now. Okay, so yeah, first up we have slate stone, which is crafted with vanilla cobblestone. Glacier stone, ice, oak planks, vanilla oak planks. Yeah, you craft everything with vanilla materials, like the mod- Except for the marbles, the modded materials aren't gonna be in the recipes. Like, it's always gonna be vanilla stuff, so vanilla spruce planks makes more materials spruce planks. Jungle, acacia, dark oak. Uh, regular sand is gonna make desert sand. And I have mesa sand way down the end here, because I forgot to put it in because I'm stupid. Mesa sand you craft from red sand. Isn't that fun? Red sand. Because that needs to do something. I don't understand why Mojang didn't add red sandstone. But whatever. Do what you want. Bre Brescia? I think that's how you say it. I can't even say my own names. Jeez. Brescia gravel is crafted from regular gravel. Silt dirt. Regular dirt. Tundra dirt. Snowballs. Clay dirt. Clay balls. Diorite, from Slate and Brescia. And then, yeah, that's right, Diorite, the stone from 1.8. I added it to 1.7, you're welcome. Okay, and then Andesite, from Diorite and Slate, and then Granite, from Diorite and Brescia. And then, Lit Coal Blocks are from coal, like this. These... If I didn't already say it, this is the crafting grid, by the way. This 3x3. Three three. So yeah, lit coal. And then you can light up everything, as demonstrated here. There's lit versions of every block this mod adds, by the way. So you can have lighting that blends in with the rest of your base. Okay, now we've got nether theme. This was the overworld theme, in case you didn't see. Okay, now we've got the nether theme, which is... So, Scoria is crafted from netherrack. Cabismo it was originally called Blazewood, but I decided Cabismo sounded cooler. It's actually, like, a local name for a tree that's like the diesel tree or something. Fun fact, it sounds cool, Cabismo. There you go. So, Acacia with a blaze rod as a catalyst. Now... So, certain items that don't have vanilla equivalents will have a catalyst up in the top left corner when you craft them, because that way I can differentiate them from, say, the acacia planks. Note that this recipe isn't using the modded acacia planks, it's using the vanilla ones. So, if you've already converted your acacia planks to more materials planks, then you're gonna need some new ones for making cabismo if you choose to do so. Um, soul sand, soul sand, pretty easy. Um, chalk gravel from gravel with bone as a catalyst. 
Laterite from dirt with netherwort as a catalyst. Quartz from the scoria and chalk put together like this. You can also craft it from vanilla quartz at a higher ratio. Like, one of these is actually one nether quartz item, so you can get four times as much per ore, because quartz is overpriced as material in the vanilla game, I feel like. It works, it makes sense, trust me. So now, yeah, that's the nether theme. Pretty fabulous. Lit versions. I forgot to put glowstone. Silly duck. Yeah, you craft glowstone from the vanilla glowstone, and then you can craft... Well, I'll get into that. I'll show you the three manually, I guess, because I forgot to put them on here, because I'm stupid. Okay, next one. End theme. End stone makes swevite. Another fun fact, Swevite is the name for a stone that's created by Meteor Impact, so I felt like it fitted Endstone pretty well. Kajelia, Jungle Planks, Ender Pearl Catalyst. All the End theme uses Ender Pearls as a catalyst, by the way. I didn't have quite as much room for creativity as I did with the Nether theme for the catalyst. Um, Stardust Sand, Sand, and Ender Pearl. Uh, travertine gravel, uh, gravel with an ender pearl, tektite dirt, dirt and an ender pearl, and then you can make nephilinite out of swevite and travertine. And then radiant blocks are the lighting type for the end, you can craft those using glowstone with an ender pearl, glowstone dust. You can craft these with glowstone dust, too. You can also use the blocks, but that requires four catalysts, and... You know how it goes. It's pretty easy to figure out once you get used to the system. At least, I like to think that it is. So, yeah. Last theme. Volcanic theme. We've got the... Obsidian... Cobblestone, whatever. Make it out of the obsidian in case you couldn't figure that out, because it's called Obsidian Cobble. Yeah. You can actually build with Obsidian now, instead of looking like crap. If you were wondering, by the way, all the blocks from the Volcanic theme have the same absurd blast resistance, including Magma Gems, as Obsidian does. So, yeah, you can make things that are totally creeper-proof, and also obnoxious for players to break. Unfortunately, harvest level doesn't work properly on woods and gravels and stuff, but it does work on all the things you mine with a pickaxe, so you can keep noobs out of your house because they'll need a diamond pickaxe to break down your door. It's pretty fun. Surround your house with a lava moat. You'll have a beast castle. Okay, ebony. Spruce planks. I decided to be ironic there because I'm pretty sure spruce is like the softest of the vanilla woods. And obsidian. And you get ebony. The hardest wood ever. Period. Without question. It's amazing. And then volcanic sand. Sand, obsidian. Pumice, gravel, obsidian. Ash, dirt, obsidian. And basalt is obsidian and pumice. Like all the other marbles. Then magma gems, you can craft those out of... I'll show you this one, since this one's a little weird. So, to make magma gems, you're gonna want some diamonds. Not cheap. Lava. Also not cheap. But hey, you're talking about blast-proof lighting here. That's something that doesn't exist in vanilla at all. It's not even an aesthetic alternative. It's a completely new deal. So, just throw those down on the completely wrong row. That's okay. Diamonds. For days. Not there. Not there either. Lava bucket. And then you get these. It's really fun. You get... Yeah. Diamonds, lava bucket, magma gem. If 
By the way, in these recipes, if you need a catalyst, you'll get five of the result. Like, the ender pearl doesn't give you another block, and the lava bucket doesn't count, so you get like five magma gem. But on the things that don't require a catalyst and just use six of the base block, you'll get six out of the recipe. Hope that made sense. So yeah, that was part one of the more materials spotlight, and probably the most important for people who are going to be playing it. Because, you know, the crafting recipes for everything. Hopefully I explained that well. If anything was unclear, post in the comments. I will try to explain it better, because I... I'm very impromptu with this stuff, and I'm always forgetting something. I know I am. And a quick note to people who are playing the mod. You'll see something like this, item group .tab mm stones. It's a glitch with the lang files. I don't know what causes it, but occasionally... It, it's always like a random name. Like, occasionally the name of an item will show up as its unlocalized name. It doesn't affect the function of the item, it doesn't affect its ID. Nothing's gonna break if that happens, it's just a glitch in the lang files. I don't understand why it happens, because sometimes it works brilliantly and sometimes it just derps. I have no idea why. If anyone happens to know why, please shoot me a message. Because I would like to get that fixed if I can, but the lang file is correct, so I have no idea if it's going to work for you or not. It's in the- the translation is there. Like, I looked in the lang file, it's supposed to say more material stones, but... Just not doing that. It was working fine earlier, but I don't know, it happens sometimes. I swear I did everything I was supposed to, I don't know why that happens. Anyway guys, that was more materials crafting recipes. Thank you for watching. I am really proud of this project, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with for building with it. So if you make any cool builds using more materials, shoot me a message, and I will be including it in the next part of the showcase if you can get me a download. Because the next part of the showcase is going to be what you can build with the mod. Enough ranting. Okay. See you later. Bye!